From see-through solar panels to fusion power breakthroughs, lots of time, talent, and money is being invested in developing more sustainable technologies. We've put together a list of all the ones that we'll be keeping an eye on in 2023. Let's get into it. We're gonna kick it off with the original green power source, the sun. Solar power has long been a staple renewable, however, the sun doesn't always shine, and even when it does, most commercial solar panels aren't as efficient as wind turbines. That said, efforts are underway to find new ways to make, apply, and deploy solar panels that could help them fulfill a larger portion of our energy needs. The wildest new solar advancement I've heard of is transparent solar that can be applied like a film over windows or other surfaces to harvest energy. There's a couple companies pushing this technology forward, Solar Window and Ubiquitous Energy. Both companies are more focused on creating partnerships with other businesses rather than selling direct to consumer. So it's likely the first place you'll encounter a solar window in the wild will be as an upgrade when buying windows for your home or office or as an add-on to your car. We've got in-depth videos on transparent solar projects coming up, so be sure to subscribe to CNET if you don't wanna miss them. Solar is also showing up on cars. I had my first ride in a solar EV last year when I checked out the Aptera. Most solar cars, like the Aptera, Sono Scion, and the Lightyear Zero, are engineered to be as light as possible so they can maximize the benefit from their solar panels. Also, it's important to note that solar cars don't completely run on solar. They still need to be plugged into the grid to charge up for longer rides. But having solar panels all over your car could still provide up to about 40 miles a day, depending on the car, where you park it, and what kind of solar package you have. Capturing the sun's power is one thing, but there are actually people trying to replicate the sun's power here on Earth. I'm talking about fusion energy, which seeks to fuse elements together to generate energy, like the types of reactions occurring within the massive celestial furnace we call the sun. Recently, a breakthrough occurred at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory when a fusion reaction generated slightly more energy than what was required to start it, something which had never been done before. That said, fusion reactors still have a long way to go. It's likely they will need to be able to generate 10 times the input energy to be a viable energy source, something which is still many years away. But with massive fusion projects like ITER on the horizon, there's a lot to watch in this space, and you can find it here on What the Future. While solar and fusion take aim at harnessing the power of the sun, other energy tech companies are aiming at a power source a lot closer to home, the ocean. Waveswell Energy's artificial blowhole recently completed a one-year test off the coast of King Island, Australia. Inspired by a natural blowhole, the UniWave 200 directs waves into its central chamber where air is compressed, spinning a turbine, and sending energy to the grid. Waveswell Energy says it's still improving its artificial blowhole, making it more reliable and affordable. Another company called EcoWave Power is using man-made structures built into the ocean as a foundation for wave energy generation. These floaters sit on the surface where the rising waves push them up, creating fluid pressure in the system, which spins a hydro motor that turns a generator that sends electricity to the grid via an inverter. The system's designed to automatically recognize upcoming storms so it can raise its floaters out of the water until the bad weather passes to prevent damage. EcoWave Power already has installations in Gibraltar and Jaffa Port in Tel Aviv, Israel, and they're working on one in Los Angeles that's expected to be up and running this year. Efforts are also underway to harvest wave energy from under the water. A company called AWS Energy has deployed a massive underwater buoy called the Archimedes Wave Swing that sits below the surface and is tethered to the ocean floor. As the waves roll by, the extra pressure created by the wave's crest pushes the floater down, creating an air spring that lifts it back up. A generator then transforms this up and down movement into electricity. AWS Energy is planning for more trials of the Archimedes Wave Swing in 2023. Which of these technologies do you think has the most potential to help create a sustainable future? Let us know down in the comments. And if you'd like to see our latest wave energy video, you can find it right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. See you next time with the fam.